Hey everybody, today will be a bit of a lazy video. I wanted to talk about Palmer Report. Now, I spend a lot of time on social media, so I come across these types of accounts a lot. These uh, smug and pretentious liberal types. Now, I like talking to liberals, a reasonable one. I like hearing different perspectives. I really do. These people, though, are the worst. Insufferable is the first word that comes to mind, but there has to be a stronger word to use. Now, the reason I ended up going, let's, let's talk shit on Palmer Report, Bill Palmer. All right, so this is how I got here. Stephen Miller uh, was, I guess, uh, flipped off at a sushi restaurant he was eating at, and so he dumped his sushi and left. It's like the opposite of Eric Paddock, right? The opposite of Compt. I don't know, it was $80 worth of sushi thrown away. Anyway, as you can see here, let's just kind of sc scroll through here. We'll see all of the uh, share blue personalities uh, giving us their hot takes. Here we have Eugene Gu, uh, and if you're unfamiliar with this person, he was arrested for uh, beating up his girlfriend uh, severely. So is <laughs> reset the clocks, everyone. Another male fo feminist who's an absolute monster. Still asserting his moral superiority to everybody. He writes, Why did Stephen Miller womp womp his own sushi? Doesn't even know how to use it right. And it, it's really sad how, how little fucking charisma these people have. Because that's the most action he'll ever get in his life. Uh, the same could be said about your Twitter feed, dude. All right, James Gunn, who's actually a really good director. So every time I see a celebrity or somebody jump on the whole politics bandwagon, I, it disappoints me because James Gunn can write a good movie. Both Guardians movies are good in my opinion. I don't even go out to the movies anymore. Uh, I, I just, they're trash. Most movies are trash, but I had fun with both of James Gunn's latest movies. And of course, Super is some, some real good shit. Uh, but let's... Let's continue. Oh, no, no, we didn't read his tweet. Uh, Stephen Miller really showed that waiter by throwing that sushi away. Anytime someone flips me off, I just take 20s out of my pocket and rip up, rip them up right in front of him to teach them a lesson about manners. Uh, you ever think maybe he was being the bigger person? He didn't try to get the guy fired, didn't make a scene, he just left. Because this apparently didn't even happen like today. This is old news. He, it must have gotten leaked to the press uh here's another one paid socialist troll uh writes i love dc they put up a wanted poster excuse me wanted posters of stephen miller in his neighborhood then we have palmer report the the man of the hour uh men want to be like him women want to be with him sure you'd <laughs> let's go ahead and read this donald trump stayed so far and if you go to his feed which i do have brought up here this is his entire life it's really pathetic. Uh, Donald Trump's day so far. Attacks NATO, attacks Pfeiffer, attacks China, attacks the New York Times. See, because anytime you, you say something, it's like right now I'm attacking them, right? It's criticism is now physical force. These people are, are insane. Attacks the New York Times, praises Kim Jong-un. Stephen Miller has a tantrum and throws away his own sushi. Uh, it's funny, if this was somebody refusing to build... To, make him a cake these guys would be completely on his side right clearly they're they're people of principle right or they just switch side depending on switch sides depending on who, whoever they don't like on what side they're on these nazis are such snowflakes oh they're all nazis see we're all nazis everybody look at the big brain on bill palmer all right this is <laughs> We're just fucking look at this guy. <laughs> Can you believe? I, I do. You guys think this ever? This guy ever saw the fucking outside of a vagina? I don't think he has. Like, just look at this face. <laughs> I don't even think he ever got a pity fuck. To be honest with you, he's he's one ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> fucking with a stolen dick and somebody else pushing. Anyway, so this is Bill Palmer. Bill Palmer. Uh, Jesus Christ, this person makes me want to neck myself. Here's his uh, website that looks like it was built sometime in the late 90s. 
Uh, he writes most of his own articles, but that doesn't stop him from having a long list. Here, I'll show you well, all of the... Uh... Okay, he has a list of people who write for him, but I have yet to see an actual article written from somebody else. Uh, here, here's his, uh, of course, his contact page, and where you can see all of the people that write for this uh, this prolific website. Um, but yeah, that's that's mostly what I wanted to show you. This guy is a uh, a massive tool. <laughs> Let's keep reading some of these these hot takes because these are the people that tell you. That they know what's best for society. They know what's best for your life, even. And here, here they are being absolute hypocrites. I find that just too amusing. Stephen Miller got cursed out in a bar. Stephen Bannon got cursed out in a bookstore. Almost sounds, sounds like the beginning of a nursery rhyme in a country that routinely sees black people being confronted over nothing. <laughs> It's nice to see the public go after the actual bad guys. Well, I heard, I, I could be wrong, but I remember S Steve Bannon's the actual president. He's the one who's actually in charge. Remember, this is what all of the liberals told us a year ago before he got fired. Uh, he's actually in charge. Remember, there's that picture of Steve Bannon with Trump in his lap and they're writing something and Trump's a big baby, right? It's really clever. It's really clever. These guys have told me over and over again how clever they are. Uh, funny how all of those Steve Bannon's the real president disappeared right around, uh, right around the time he got his ass fired. But let's go ahead and continue through. Uh, Adam Best. Jeez, these people are, the, are like living fucking cancer. And what you'll find about all these people blocked by Donald Trump in no way respond. Jesus Christ. Uh, most of these people are like startup company uh personalities they just start up a company and then don't do anything with it they it just exists almost each and every one of these people you'll find they're like oh we have this come and they don't actually pump out content they or uh, any they don't do anything they're just oh we're the head of this company well, what does this company do oh. uh almost every one of these these professional twitter personalities are like that uh boohoo poor little fat oh because he's a fascist okay you know Every time these people call somebody else a fascist, it makes people more open to the idea because they think, well, if it pisses you off, if it's the opposite of you, I will consider it. Got flipped off and threw away almost $100 worth of sushi to own the libs. No, maybe he just didn't want to eat food of somebody who likely tampered with it. That would be, that would be my guess. Uh, repeat after me. Trump administration members are not victims. The oppressors cannot also be the oppressor. Here it is. Here it is. There's that great critical theory at work. Uh, hey, white boy, you can't tell me who can be oppressed. Look at you trying to control everything. What a what a faggot. All right. Oh, another Palmer report because, uh, of course, this person just lives by the Twitter. When I see Stephen, saw Stephen Miller trending, I was hoping it was because he resigned. But in a way, the story of Stephen Miller getting owned by a bartender, he got owned. Because he got flipped off. Uh, I hope that guy gets fired. Really, that's that's some. You should see the amount of people we deal with on a regular basis. There's a <laughs> where I work. There's a jail in that town, and there's a lot of crazy people. So we predominantly deal with people who are literally insane, like off their meds. I I don't even want to go into detail, but we have dealt with some insane people and continue to on a day-to-day -day basis and look if somebody if uh jerry brown came into my work i wouldn't hassle him i would treat him just like anybody else you know why because uh i, I want to keep my job that's a big part of it but the other part is uh i wouldn't if you're off the clock you're off the clock i'm not gonna go in there and be like hey i hate your straw thing your your law about the the Everything you've done in the past two years, I, I don't like it. So. But these people aren't decent human beings. They aren't civil. They keep saying, calling for an end to civility. But they've never been civil. They've never been civil. And and, they, and the, uh, their excuse for lashing out at others is that, well, you guys believe in uh, 
certain mentality that is dangerous to others. You're the hateful ones. No, you're the ones conflating everybody who disagrees with you's beliefs with uh, with something that justifies being an absolute cunt. Uh, we'll continue for uh, for it. <laughs> Like every one of these people works for Share Blue. I, I'm willing to bet these people are getting some of that sweet, sweet Brock coin. Uh, politics video channel. Stephen Miller reportedly threw 80, okay, okay. yeah here eighty dollars worth of sushi comped at a bartender at the restaurant and uh, flipped him off. Apparently, if you give Snowflake Stephen Miller the finger, it makes him lose his appetite. Again, it's probably him trying to avoid eating food that had been likely tampered with, considering who is who'd made his food. These people don't have any honor, right? I, I wouldn't put it past any of them to tamper with food. And we have Aiden Wolf, Stephen Miller, Steve Bannon, Sarah Sanders, Kellyanne Conway. It's getting tough for, a li for, for lizard people to enjoy the comforts of civilization. Get used to it, you little yellow snowflake. Don't you love how they co-opt a word and they never use it properly? Like this asshole up here, he used womp womp, and it's just, it's not even, not only is it not funny, you didn't even use it right. Like these people steal and destroy every joke that comes ac that comes across the internet. It's it's really sad that they can be this unentertaining. Uh, they, they're entertaining to laugh at, but not to laugh with. The media may be incompetent, the system may be rigged, but the people will hold you accountable. And then we have uh, a man currently in being investigated for fraud, Ed Kranzenstein. You've seen this guy all over the place, probably his brother too. Trump supporters, liberals are a bunch of beta male snowflakes. Well, Trump, little Bob, okay. <sighs> See, don't you love this straw man here? I, I didn't read this out loud because it reads like a fucking second grader wrote. <laughs> uh, Trump supporters, it's criminal that Mitch McConnell, Sarah Sanders, and Stephen Miller have to endure being called names. Uh, it's just about people being insufferable well let's let's continue forward if i worked at the white house where on friday a corruption plagued epa chief resigned and a fox news exec ousted for covering up sexual assault was named deputy chief of staff i'd be pretty thrilled if the media sent monday mocking stephen miller for throwing away sushi all right and uh, here's another one from the peanut gallery well and we'll wrap up soon but i just i needed to just kind of go over these I, I, even by their standards, I feel like they have fallen very far. Here's another one from Eugene Gu, MD. He, he needs to make sure everyone knows that he's a doctor. Therefore, his his opinion uh, m means something. Oh, he wrote he writes for the Huffington Post and the Hill. Is it that easy to seriously get a job for these places to write articles? <laughs> Holy shit! For Stephen Miller, there is nothing more American than rage throwing eighty dollars worth of sushi. You realize these people make like six figures, right? Eighty dollars of sushi isn't <laughs> much to somebody who's making like ten thousand dollars a month. Uh, on the ground to protest an American bartender's freedom of speech. Oh, so now the person has a freedom of speech to say that. Uh, but as people like Eugene have have told me, freedom of speech does not mean freedom from consequence. Right? Oh, oh, that's only for their side. That's right. That's right. What was I think? I was thinking things are supposed to be applied on both directions. Otherwise, you're a hypocrite. But no, this guy just is a hypocrite. Do you think he supported the free, uh, the, uh, the baker who said, uh, no, I don't want to make a gay cake. I'll sell you one that's on the wall or up here, one of our display cakes, but I'm not going to make you a gay cake and cater your wedding. He had every right to say, I don't want to act in this. And the government... Uh, barely backed him up, but people like Eugene, I bet you, I'm not going to waste my time, but I bet you, you can go through his feed and you will see him talking about how uh, refusing to make a cake for a gay person is just wrong. But you're allowed to treat people he dis dislikes any way you like. The And they wonder why uh, why they're losing. They wonder why Trump even happened in the first place. This type of shit right here. Just being a smug asshole all of the time this is why people don't like you uh but well see and you'll notice that it's i follow a lot of right-wing personalities on this website and everything that's coming up is just a bunch of left-wingers being assholes so is it that no one's talking about it or is twitter specifically promoting this type of nonsense i'll leave you to decide 
But I just wanted to do a quick video of those people so you guys can see what's going on. And uh, normally I do a nice, I try to do a video every day, right? But uh, I saw this when I woke up. I got to get ready for it. I have a few things to do. But I did want to share this with you because this is insane. These people are insane. And when people talk about the Supreme Court, right, we need to uh, we need to put a liberal on there just to just to be nice. You know, we got to show that we're decent people and we're not going to pack it with conservatives. No, pack it with conservatives. Take every opportunity you can against these people. Do you think they would do the same to you if they were in power? No, no, they would not. Look at how they act. They they don't deserve any any sort of uh, good sportsmanship, especially after shit like this. So uh, as far as that Supreme Court goes, put somebody – write a fucking Hitler in there. No joke. Put, put somebody who's real right-wing in there. Uh, they don't deserve any sort of sportsmanship, especially at this point. So that's, that's all I got to say. I'll see you later.